Hello Advanced A&P students. Welcome to our accelerated summer 2018 seven week Advanced A&P class. My name is Jill Carr. I'm going to be with you for the next seven weeks in class and I wanted to spend a little bit of time showing you our course online on Blackboard. I have some students that are going to be missing the first day of class and I wanted them to be um, in the know when it comes to what to expect this semester. And you can always refer back to this if you want to just to get a review of what to expect in our class. So I always will post announcements if there's any change in our schedule or, or a reminder of something new that is due. Um, just always be sure to check the announcements. So the first place you're going to go every week is assignments and I'll have a weekly folder that has all the content for the week located in there. And then if there's any special um, assignments that are coming up in our first uh, written assignment, it's actually a PowerPoint. You're going to create the partner and present it in lab. It's the diet report, so that'll show up in that week. So to understand what happens from week to week, it's best to start with the syllabus tab. So we'll click there. And I have a lecture notes master file. You can take this to Digicopy. You can print it on your own. You can go to Miller Quick Print and on Alaska. But you have to download the master file and then print it as multiple two slides per page in landscape. That's the most um, visible way to print these PowerPoint slides and efficient and cost effective. So I highly recommend that you print out the entire notes packet because it's going to be a lot of running back and forth to the printer if you try to do this you know, every time we change lecture topics. And being a seven week class, there's not going to be a whole lot of time to, to work on that. So I highly recommend that you print off the whole lecture notes packet, pop it in a binder, a three inch binder is good, and bring it to class. And then you'll be highlighting and, and writing notes in that packet. So that's the, the, the PowerPoint um, for lecture. And then for lab, I have a master file of all the worksheets. I do hand these out in class as well, but if you wanted to have a file for at home, your work is certainly welcome to do that. And there is a lab supplement that you're going to need the first day in lab. So right away tomorrow, Tuesday, May 8th, everybody should have the lab supplement purchased from the bookstore. It's not very expensive. I think it's less than $10, but that's your guide to know what to study for the lab exams. And then our syllabus. I will have a copy of this to hand out in lecture tomorrow. So I'm just going to open that up and kind of go over that quickly with you because I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time tomorrow um, going through this. So this just tells you the competencies, kind of the content we're going to cover this semester, and then where are the points coming from. So we'll have some lecture and lab worksheets that I'm going to hand out in lab or lecture and they just help you review some of the content so I'll assign a couple of points to completing those and having those organized and ready to go. I will always collect those worksheets when there's a lab exam or a lecture exam. I don't collect them outside of that just because it gets a little messy and difficult. So anytime there's a lab or a lecture exam I'll be collecting any worksheets that I handed out that are related to those exams. We'll have a lecture exam every Wednesday as shown on our schedule, which I'll go over in a little bit. So we'll be done presenting material on Thursday of the previous week, and you won't be tested on that until Wednesday of the next week. So just because this is an accelerated class, I don't feel that we should be cramming material into our minds when it's important, you know, kind of difficult concepts. I want you to have time to go through the material and really understand it with a little bit of downtime and quiet study time. So we'll finish a topic on Thursday and we'll test on it the following Wednesday. Exams are about 50 points and I have them on the schedule and you can see what the exams are and when they are, but they're going to be multiple choice matching your typical exam that you probably had in general a &P that you fill out on a Scantron. Um, lecture quizzes, we'll have a short quiz each Tuesday covering some of the topics to give you some idea of some important questions you might see on the lecture exam on Wednesday. So when you come back to class on Tuesday, we are going to have a quiz just to get you ready for that lecture exam. Students appreciate those lecture quizzes because it gives them a little preview and helps them get studying a little earlier rather than the night before the exam. We'll have a lab quiz every week when you come to lab. There are 12 points apiece and it's going to cover the material from the previous lab. This will probably be, be the busiest part of our class because you're going to be learning the lab material on a Tuesday and quizzing on it on Thursday. And the lab material that we cover on Thursday, you'll be quizzing right away that following Tuesday. So there's always going to be a lab quiz every time you come to class 
except for the first lab quiz, or the first lab class, obviously, which will be tomorrow. So those are worth 12 points apiece. And then we have some special assignments. There's three assignments. There's the diet report, the immune poster, and then an individual health nutrition assessment. And I'll talk about those as we progress through the semester. But um, when we look at your overall course grade, 80% of your grade is going to be based on lab quizzes and lecture exams. So that sit down, closed note material that you're going to do is the bulk of your grade. So it's really important that you understand the content, that you seek out help when necessary, and that you really put aside time to study for the exams. Because if you don't have that downtime, that quiet study time at home, this class is going to be a struggle for you. The, the grade is not based on a lot of out-of-class points, but those in-class sit-down lecture exams. So I do provide review guides so you can you know, know what is on the exams. I don't like to put surprises on the exams. I try to be as fair as possible, but you do have to really know your stuff to, to do well on the lecture exams. With that being said, I do have a good pass rate for the class. Um, I teach advanced AMP, I've been teaching it a long time, and I get overall very good evaluations. Students like my teaching style, they feel I'm a fair instructor, but you do need to know your content. So you do need to come to class. Missing class is going to be um, very bad for your grade if you're going to take a seven week accelerated class. We're going to cover a lot of material, do a lot of review really learn that content when we're together in class and I'm going to be working just as hard as you in terms of you know organizing the material and making sure that you guys are on board but if you're not in class obviously then you can't be on board and engaged with the materials I'm creating so 10% of your grade is going to be those other activities lab worksheets the diet report immunity poster and nutrition study so those are all things that will be the that should be 20% I apologize that's a typo 20% grade, not 10%. And then um, the grading scale. Um, we recently, in the last couple years, lowered our percent for a C to 70% from a 75%. So because of that large jump that we lowered the passing rate for a C, we do not round up for anybody that can't earn at least a 70%. Because students should not be in that 70% category. It really is... Um, going to be difficult in the nursing program where you have to have a 78 percent on your exam scores in order to pass a class. So we don't want to lower the standards too much in advanced A&P so students end up not being successful when they get into the nursing program. So make sure that you are not right at the 70 percent mark or even below it because your chances of success are very low then. You want to be you know 75 or higher as a safe zone to be in um, but obviously, a, a B or better is ideal. My strongest students um, that do really well after advanced a &P are those that are able to get a B or better in advanced a &P. And it is a, a common grade in the class, so it's not difficult to get a B, but you have to be in class, engaged, and really concerned about understanding the material. So I'll always be updating Blackboard. You can see your scores on there. Always contact me if you see something that doesn't look right on Blackboard. But there should be no surprises of what your grade is as each score is entered shortly after we take those exams. So um, be sure that you have that lab and lecture packet ready to go tomorrow in lab and lecture. And you should be, you know, have everything you need at your fingertips. So here's our course calendar. We're going to meet every Tuesday for lab and lecture. So I have them broken down into what we'll be talking about. This is a general guideline. Sometimes we'll spend a little more time on one topic or a little less time, so there's some wiggle room here, but I'll always update the schedule and let you know what to expect. So our first topic, you know, Tuesday, we're going to talk about biochemistry in lecture, and then when you go to the lab room, we'll be talking about DNA and RNA and protein synthesis. Then when you come to class on Wednesday this week, we're going to have a lecture quiz covering what we talked about in lecture. So I'm not going to test you on lab topics in lecture. If it's a lecture quiz, it's covering lecture topics. So we're going to have a couple of questions on the biochemistry when you come back on Wednesday. And then we'll continue to talk about chem biochemistry and then maybe start a little bit on metabolism. We'll continue to talk about metabolism when you come on Thursday. And then we'll have our second lab, which will be on mitosis and meiosis, and your first lab quiz. And the lab quiz is always going to cover the content from the previous lab. So on Thursday, 
the lab quiz will be on what we talked about on Tuesday. So this content here, the mitosis meiosis, that's going to be what we're going to talk about after the lab quiz. So lab quizzes always review the previous lab topics. So this Thursday's lab quiz will co cover DNA mutations, RNA protein synthesis. So that would be it for the week. Then you're going to come back and we'll talk about endocrinology, have our lab topic, and our lecture exam again is going to cover the previous week's material. So we're in week two here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So our first lecture exam is going to be the two lecture topics here that we talked about the previous week. I'm not going to go into the topic that we talked about on Tuesday because on Tuesday you already have a lecture quiz. I don't want to overwhelm you. I, I need time to finish that topic. So we're only going to test on Wednesdays on the previous week's lecture topics. And if you go through and look at our schedule, you see that what's in parentheses is what's on the lecture exam, and that's only going to be the previous week's material. So that way it gives you time from Thursday when we finish the lecture material until the following Wednesday to prepare for that lecture exam. And when you think about a regular class that's over 15 weeks, students aren't typically spending five and six days to study for a lecture exam. Some students can accomplish a good study session in two or three days. So the fact that our class is accelerated is more based on how much time you're actually spending in class getting the information, not really the space between the lecture exams because there's, there's a lot of time for study time for you to be successful. And again, I'll have review guides to help you get ready for the lecture exam so there's no surprises. I really want you guys to be successful. I know it was a big decision to take an accelerated class, but as long as you come to class and you don't miss, you're going to be fine. Seek out the information that you're missing with the tutor. There's online tutors, there's face-to-face -face tutors this summer that are right next to where we meet that'll be happy to help you you know, if you start to struggle a little bit as we move along. So our last day of class is going to be June 21st, Thursday. And you can look and see here everything we're going to be covering. And it's all really well laid out, so there's no surprises. Again, if you need to miss class, certainly we're all adults. That is your choice to miss. But I can't ever say that it's a good idea or that I say no problem because it can be a problem for some students and it can prevent them from being successful in the class. Only you know if you have what it takes to make up for missing you know, several hours of lecture material. So I will provide online videos of every lab and lecture. So if you need to review the material again, you're certainly welcome to do that. And I want you to be successful and I try to provide as many resources as I can. So if we go into our folder here into week one, I have our lecture here. Basic biochemistry is the lecture topic for the first week. And then also um, metabolism will be another topic we're going to cover. But here I have the videos. So you can see I've covered you know, the content in a video format for you to review at home. And then I provided a worksheet to help you review. And going back to this folder, um, we also are covering cellular metabolism in lectures. So I have information here. Again, a video of me going over metabolism, a worksheet to help you review. So I have lots of resources to kind of get you started here. And then the lab, we're covering two different lab topics. So this is the first lab topic on Tuesday. This is the lab topic for Thursday. Again, on Thursday, we'll test on Tuesday's lab topic. So again, 80% of your grade is based on lab and lecture exams, 20% is on the um, homework and special projects, and we'll talk about those as they come up. When you come to lab this week, you're going to pick out your diet report topic and a partner. We'll do this in lab, so don't do this um, outside of lab. I want you to pick your partner in lab. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help. I want to be a good resource for you. I would recommend that you come with your textbook tomorrow. It's a good idea to have that textbook handy. Used copies are fine. You don't have to get this version. If you want to get an older copy, no problem. Just make sure it's the same author, same title. It can be older versions of, of um, the book. Our bodies haven't changed that much in the last five years that, would have, that it would affect how I teach. Um, again, I have the syllabus. Make sure you have the master copy of the PowerPoint notes and some highlighters. 
highlighters are very helpful. It helps students kind of zero in on essential content. So I look forward to meeting everybody tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy the beautiful sun, sunny day out there and are ready to work hard. See you soon.